What's going on, y'all? I am out here today with Cameraman Ron. What's up, guys? If y'all haven't followed his channel, check out the link below in the description. Super entertaining content, but we we're out here today. We were expecting windy conditions, and I don't know what happened. The weatherman I'm not got it. Mad about it, <laughs> right? Okay. Yeah. So it is calm. We haven't seen a lot of calm weather this year, but we got it today, and um, I got a feeling we're going to get on some good fish conditions should be should be improving throughout the day uh we're gonna target some trout some redfish maybe even catch a flounder who knows uh but yeah let's get after it see if we can catch the fish y'all we got a little bit of dirty water from all the rain we've had lately and just coming in here and throwing a 17 mr miradine puts off a good little bit of flash has a little bit of rattle so if these trout are not able to see it they can key in on that rattle and uh and try to track that lure down Come on, there he is. He's on. That's a decent trout. Oh yeah, he's pulling on me. Oh, good trout. That's a good trout. First fish of the morning. And that's a 20 plus incher right there. Ah! <laughs> no, the hooks are caught. There we go. <laughs> All right. That's a 21, 22. Nathan and I are putting a good trout in the boat first thing in the morning, y'all. Oh, dude, that's a good trout. That was wrong. Yep. And I almost botched the net job. <laughs> I saw that mirrodin get caught, man. I was like, oh no. Y'all look at that beautiful fish right there. Nice, thick. Probably sitting right around 21 or so. She's thick for sure. Yep, right on 21. All right, kicking off the morning with a 20 plus inch trout. I think we're gonna get on some more, y'all. Bye bye. We're actually at a dead low tide right now, which is not ideal for where we're at. We want that water to be pushed up into the bank. Still think we're gonna be able to get on some nice fish. Had to grab fuel right now, didn't you, Ron? Uh huh? I'd say you had to grab fuel right now, didn't you? Of all the time. <laughs> there he is. Oh, he's coming in here to check us or get fuel. 21. Yeah. Just up there around Benders. I mean, we hit Benders Point, Jamarcus Point. We're going to go hit the crab traps out at the mouth. Oh, I'll throw it back. Oh, okay. Yeah. Good deal. Yeah. yeah, he was definitely waiting on me. That's a drop there. There he is. One other trout. Right in that slot, we need to keep it. Oh, yes. Yes, sir. Good deal. Y'all both got fish and licenses. Yes, sir. All right, you two, thanks. You need to check license or? I would have ran. <laughs> <laughs> you would have got a lot skinnier than I would have, but I could probably outweigh you. Yeah, you you could outrun me. I definitely have to do it on like a situation where I got into water. Yeah, you gotta get, get into about a foot and a half of water and you got me. <laughs> <laughs> hey man, we appreciate you. Thank you so much. I should have been like, I don't know, man. He's been coming all kinds of shit up in the front hatch of everything. <laughs> I don't even know this guy. Oh, Ron is hooked up. Finally. There he is. Dude, is that a trout? Dude, that is. Oh, oh no. Oh my God. Are you kidding me? Right Dude. Now? That was a trout. 
I was thinking, man, that's the longest bass I've ever seen. My gosh. Are you kidding me? <laughs> no flipping way right there. Dude, I have never seen a trout right here. <laughs> well, Ever. Even when you would think that they should be here, like, I've never seen a trout in here. I seriously think Nate, he doesn't understand the abnormality of my fishing life. Like, you can tell he's never fished with me before just by the things he's saying. Like, he's using technical fishing terms, which I don't do. You guys know that. <laughs> That's never going to happen. And then he's like, I can't believe you hooked a trout. I'm like, bro, like, I, you're lucky I didn't hook like a blue cat or something in here because that's what that's the story of my life I catch stuff that should not be where it's at. It's just that's just the way I do things There he is Finally. Bring your ass in the boat No questions in the boat <laughs> right through back in the water and uh, See if we can catch another largemouth bass I guess because that's all I can catch apparently all right, well, I took us to a spot I knew we could at least Nate hook finally something. finally put me on fish. Bass, <laughs> I mean, the trout master hey. brought me and caught largemouth bass, which I could have caught in my sink at home. <laughs> Two bass, one trout. That's I'm all right. Counting, I'm counting the trout as a catch. We're just giving the tide a little bit more time to come in right now. We're just basically wasting time. And uh, we're gonna go back out, hit a couple of areas. We just need to water and get up a little bit. This coming we're... from the same man that told me to get out of here at six o'clock this morning. Well, if that was the case, why didn't we come at like 11? Well, we caught our first fish at 6.05. Oh, we caught your first fish at 6.05. He's <laughs> saying words like me. Try to be inclusive, man. Kind of. No political correctness here, bro. <laughs> All right, y'all, so that was a pretty eventful day. Not a whole lot of fishing action, but man. I mean, we fished hard today, though. Like, we fished multiple spots. We fished multiple lures. We fished hard today. So, but hey, that's it. I mean, sometimes, you know, it, it just doesn't work out. I mean, we talk about that all the time on our channel. You know, some days are better than others, and today was just a tough day. But that's hey, right. yep. we could have been sitting behind a desk somewhere. Absolutely. So, I mean, we were out on the water, so I ain't mad. So ended up catching two trout i think i only got one on camera so y'all didn't see that but dived off in a little creek and uh ron got on a couple of bass in there hooked a trout that nice trout never like there never should have been a trout there it was insane even seeing that i trout tried to tell nathan creek. from the get-go i was gonna do things today that would blow his mind and like that was one of them that was yep. one of them so we're gonna go ahead and head in and uh I don't know how much footage I have from today, so I think I'm gonna go fishing in the morning and stitch that on the back end of this. Uh, but yeah, we'll see y'all out there. All right, took a little bit of time to regroup. I'm back on the water after my trip with cameraman Ron. Got the kayak rigged up right here. I need some redemption. <laughs> so y'all throw some good vibes my way. Let's see if we can't go out here and put some fish in the boat. Man, what you doing out here? Not catching fish. Yeah, how long you been out here? Uh, probably 20 minutes. Right on. Y'all, I don't know if y'all know Garrett Wade or not. Just ran into him. I guess he was out here bass fishing too. Done any luck? I missed one. Still trying to knock the rust off. It's been a, a week or two since I've been out here. Well, I'm just getting started, man. I haven't been out here in a while. But, uh, you wanna do a challenge? Yeah, I'm game. What you got? Five fish. What, uh, what time you wanna end it? Man, you know I can't catch five fish in two hours. How much? Uh, six, <laughs> six is fine. All right, let's do it. All right, game on. Then we'll start off throwing this jackhammer right here. Got a little trailer on it, pearl white, dirty water. Hopefully we can catch some fish on that. Garrett is a heck of a bass fisherman. He lives right up the road, but he doesn't really fish this body of water a whole lot. So I think I might have home field advantage on him. But he's definitely one of the top bass anglers from a kayak in the nation. He's qualified for several major events. He's just a heck of an angler. Gotta figure out a way to beat him. There he is. All right, fish number one. There we go. I'm on in the boat. All right. Not a giant, 
but it's a start y'all bass number one on the doggone jackhammer hey, that guy right at 14 inches cha-ching fish number one y'all all right 14 inches There he is, fish number two. Oh, I gotta get off the dock. He's not a big one, he's not a big one. But, <laughs> fish number two nevertheless, all right. Feels good to finally catch some fish, even if they are micro. Boom. Put them on my old board here. All right, he is right at 10 inches. Most bass tournament rules require your bass to be 12 inches, so I'm not gonna enter him in our little challenge we created on the fly, just cause I wanna keep the rules as close to tournament, tournament official as possible. There he is. Oh, is that a bass? Dang, that's a pickerel. Golly. That's a big pike too. <laughs> oh my God. I thought I just smoked a doggone stud bass. Uh-uh, don't break my line, buddy. Come on. I'm gonna get, gotta get that hook out of you. Woo, boy. Well, that excited me for just a minute. I don't know if y'all have seen these fish before. They have got some gnarly teeth. You do not want to get your hand stuck in that mouth. Mm -hmm. There we go. All right, dude. See ya. Bye-bye. Y'all, this has been one of the most bizarre days I've ever had fishing. I mean, started off this morning fishing with Ron, got checked by the game ward Marine Police not once, but twice. It was the same guy coming up wanting to see if we had fish in the boat. You know, uh, we weren't keeping fish anyways. We had caught two at the time. Should have caught some more trout. Went five miles up in a creek and ron catches a trout and there's freshwater springs everywhere back there not an ounce of salt and just a trout should not have been back there it, it blew my mind uh come out here go bass fishing i meet garrett wade out here and we do this challenge garrett wade is one of the best bass anglers i know has done very very well on national stages and we both tie in, in bass with us catching one each at 14 inches i mean it's just been a very very bizarre day but we're going to end it out there y'all i'm beat i hope y'all enjoyed the video though if y'all did smash the like button comment with any questions subscribe if you haven't already we'll see y'all next time